Maar de rechter onderkant is verschillend met de bovenkant. Ja. Hi Measuring Hero, Nobby hier. Using Calypso really is a joy, but sometimes problems can go a little bit above your head. Oh, Nobby, uh, sorry to disturb you. Uh, uh, Jay. I understand you guys have a problem? Yeah, we sure do. It has something to do with outliers and filters, but Ooh. I just don't know what to do. I don't think I can help, but I think I know someone who can. Great. Oh, hi, Jay. Hello, Anna. Yeah, I'm here with Navi and his father, and uh, they seem to have a problem. Uh, is there any way you can come and help? All right, I'll get changed. I'll be right there. Great, thanks. Great news, uh, she will come. Great, mm, I will get there. Does he know she's in Germany? Anna! Nobby, hi! Well, glad you came all the way to Holland. Yeah, Jay called me and he told me you have a problem, so I came as fast as I could. Yeah, did you like the motorcycle with the sidecar? Yes, it was quite an adventure. Ah? <laughs> yeah, my first time ever in a sidecar. Cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. so what can I do for you? Well, um, have a seat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've measured this uh, circle and there are some spikes that I think don't belong there. Mm -hmm. And I, well, I don't know how to get rid of them. And I have to admit, I did the training at SAIS. Uh, I learned all about the pre-filtering and outliers, but I kind of forgot how it actually works. <laughs> So I think we are already in the right uh, area. So we have the outliers elimination that will then eliminate the points that are not part of, of the measurement that should not be there mm -hmm. for sure. We can also filter the, the points. But uh, in the case of the outliers elimination, when their amplitudes is still similar to the form error that we observe, it might be that it's not really working. So. Uh -huh. I see, and that's the case in my situation, because the spikes are just as high as the, the other uh, form deviations. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. So we can check if this is really the case uh, and see what we can do to, to make the results a little bit better. Yeah. Would, would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the first thing that I will try is, let's see how the harmonics look like. So we start a Fourier analysis. Ooh, I like your French. Yeah, <laughs> thank you very much. And then uh, let's see what the plots uh, can give us as an insight. Uh -huh. So what we see here is, okay, we have a very strong uh, first harmonic, which is this eccentricity. Yeah, yeah. And it's probably not what you are looking for. No, I don't care about electricity, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I believe if we could uh, filter this first harmonic out of it, uh, we would see better results. So in this case, what I'm going to activate is the pre-filtering of the points. So we will set a bandpass filter to eliminate like the, the low frequencies and the very high frequencies and then we will do the outliers elimination. So you have the pre-filter and the outlier elimination. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I see. And we can still filter on top of it. So, ah. But let's see what the pre-filtering is doing first. Yep. So what I'm gonna do is I will activate the pre-filters for the uh, outliers recognition so it will happen before we start uh, the outliers elimination. And then uh, in this band filter, I'll set for, from 15 undulations per revolution up to 5,000. And undulations per revolution is that like waves per 360 degrees. Exactly. So mm -hmm. 15 is 15 per rotation and 5,000 is like small mini waves in the circle. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I see. And that will happen before the outliers are eliminated. And also, uh, because of the part and the diameter, what I'm going to do, I will also activate the filters. 
so we have here uh, 150 uh, undulations per revolution and that will happen after the outliers elimination. So really smooth uh, down the, the points and then we get the form uh, of the part and not the roughness of the part. So you mean over 150 undulations would be so small that we mm -hmm. call it roughness? Yeah, exactly. I see. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, okay, so let's see how the results look like. And. Ooh, okay. That's a lot mm -hmm. better. So, what Excellent. we see. Excellent. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. So, Nobby, um, I hope it solves your problem. Yeah, it sure does. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you very much. No, thank you. <laughs> and you, Measuring Hero, I hope you could learn something. And don't forget to subscribe and keep tuned for more. <laughs>